it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with a tag video. I have the superstitious book tag started by Natasha from My Reading is Odd. She posted this on Friday the 13th when she was actively getting married. Obviously she scheduled it. She's now on her honeymoon but I'm going to do the tag anyway because I want to get into the spooky vibe. So she has seven questions that all relate to different superstitions whether they're positive or negative and I'm not an overly superstitious person at all so I'm just going to answer these. Number one is Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is considered an unlucky day. What book were you unlucky enough to have to read? Uprooted by Naomi Novik. You guys know I just didn't like it. I really 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 deeply disliked it. I regret all the time spent hate reading that book. I really really do. Number two is A Rabbit's Foot. Natasha's question is what new release has you hopping for excitement and for that I'm gonna pull up my ebook here, Roomies by Christina Lauren, which I just read. This was an arc that I got from NetGalley. This does not release until December 5th, I want to say, but this was so cute. I read an arc of Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren that I got on a Goodreads giveaway and really disliked it. I think it was like a two, three star read. This one I gave four stars to. It was really, really cute. It's one of those fake relationships to real relationship kind of tropes. Definitely is still tropey, but it's so sweet. Um, it's essentially about a girl who kind of stalks a street musician in the subways of New York and realizes that he's got innate talent and gets him an interview and he ends up getting a gig on Broadway. However, he's here illegally and uh, does not have a work visa anymore and so she marries him so he can stay here and continue to work on Broadway. And they are adorable and I loved them and it's sex positive and amazing. The sexy time in this was way better. The relationship, the characters in this were just so much better than the last book that I read by them. So I'm really excited for this one to come out and for all of you to check out. Number three is there's a cricket in your house and that's said to bring good luck. What character would you never want to see in your house? Deanna Madden from the Deanna Madden series. This is the second book, Do Not Disturb, that I am reading for Spookathon right now. And Deanna Madden has locked herself away because she has homicidal tendencies. She wants to kill people. She fantasizes about killing people, all she can think about. And if she finds anything at all stabby or capable of killing somebody with, she wants to use it and kill you. So I don't want to see her in my house at all because I know she'd just be fantasizing about different ways to kill me. Bathing in my blood or standing over my body as I take my last breath and I don't I don't want that. I don't want to see her here. Step on a crack and you'll break your mother's back. Show the most beat up book that you own. This is A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. This is the last published work and this is a mess. This made it through a move. The cover is breaking off. There's stains all over it. It just does not look good. I'll give you guys a close-up but it's it's beat up. So you can see up on the cover here, we've got stains. They're staining all over the back. If you look down here, the whole entire side is broken and coming off. There's stains. There's just, I mean, it is beat up. Even the sides and the papers have like stains from like nail polish. I did not treat that thing nicely, mainly because I also really, really dislike the reading process. So number five is garlic. It's been known to protect you from evil spirits and vampires. What book are you too scared to read? Legitimately any book by Stephen King. Like I don't have one here to show you because I don't keep books that scare me because why would I? But I don't, I can't. I, like they terrify me. I won't do it. It's just not worth it to me to be up all night long and never sleep. Super scary thrillers. Like I'm not going to spend a thousand some pages reading it just to be terrified. It's not going to happen. So there's plenty that I'm too scared to read honestly. Next up is Break a Mirror and you've got seven years of bad luck. What book could you read for seven years? And I'm going to say it's a, a toss up. Maybe Fellowship of the Rings. I was trying to see which one I liked the best. Maybe Return of the King. Like any one of the Lord of the Rings books I could probably read over and over and over again for seven years. Solidly. If you count the bind up because they completely sell a bind up of all three of those novelizations then that book for seven years for sure no problem. Otherwise maybe Order of the Phoenix or Prisoner of Azkaban because I love both of those as well. And then seven and I want seven. Seven! No Jesus Julie. The seventh and final question is An Apple a Day Keeps the Doctor Away and that is a book with the best description of food 
And for that, I'm gonna go with The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. This has not only like dessert baking in it, but also like family meals that are discussed. One of the things that does stand out to me about this book, which is amazing and diverse and beautiful and I loved it, was the food. So if a contemporary that I love this much still reminds me of food and crafting and like all those different things that our main character, Molly, is excited to do and passionate about, like I just, I love it. It's so cute. I was thinking originally of Heartless by Marissa Meyer, but I like this one better. Well, that was actually everything for the Superstitious tag. I'm gonna tag a couple people that I really, really love that I hope you will go check out because I support their channels and I want them to grow and I want them to just flourish. I'm gonna tag my favorite duos. I'm gonna tag Game of Tomes, Jessica and Christina, and I'm going to tag Books and Looks, Mike and Becca. So I will tag both of their channels. They will be listed down below. Hopefully they have time to do this before the spooky Halloween comes and goes. But that has been the Superstitious Book Tag. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.